What's happening? It's Mark from Race Grooves. Here we have Matchbox Cars 2018 D Case Assortment. Let's check out what was in this mix. You know, for the most part, uh, there isn't a lot of variance in Matchbox cases, as far as I know. Uh, D cases contain D cases. Exactly. As far as I know, it's pretty much consistent, unless, you know, maybe something happened on the production side. But. They don't really have a lot of mixes like uh, Mattel's Hot Wheels brand does. Uh, what you see is what you get out of the case. Here we have the X Scanner, X Scanner, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Matchbox Fantasy, what they call a Matchbox Originals. Here you have the 16 Fiat 500X, has headlight decorations tail light decorations attack track and uh, you know quite a few matchbox pieces have moving parts uh, even if they're the uh, matchbox originals so as you can see there's rubber a rubber band holding down like a missile X scanner this part right here actually swings out you can see it in position right here it's on the side instead of in the back so it swings around and then you can drive like a uh, you can drive this over a container truck and then it, it scans it for like a radioactive material and stuff. Uh, here we have a Hailcat. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, I don't know if there's any moving features on this one. I don't recall if I've opened it up yet. Just has a teeny wheels for rolling. Yeah, Ford panel van, Matchbox. They said that they were going to start bringing back. Uh, more of the uh, older castings, or rather trying to have more licensed castings in the mix. Uh, I'll be looking at that one in the bonus content. Right now we kind of just take a quick look at them and then we get on with the show. Sand Shredder, Garbage Gulper. This was in the last mix as well. I talked about the gold coloration. Plowerizer. That was in the last mix. Why do they have carryovers? Well, you know, they only have, I don't know. Uh, Land Rover 90. This one does have the 65, 65th anniversary logo in the back. Not a chase piece. This is not a chase piece. So I'm told, uh, I don't know, Sonora Shredder. Uh, there's quite a bit of, uh, we're getting quite a bit of off-road and trucky type of stuff in the mix and that's really uh no nope. that's really what matchbox has uh, apparently become more and more as the time goes on you want to be more adventurous ford expedition but it's still nice that we get these models here this was part of the bonus content last case mb excavator like i said moving parts this, this part right here moves up and down, and this, I believe, spins on a, an axis. Yeah, 95 Custom Chevy Van. It was pretty cool when it came out uh, last year. It was a new model, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it looked pretty good in red, and you're going to have two different versions. This one has a motorcycle in the back, and then they have another with, uh, I forget what's on the back of the other one. Looks like I only have one per case here. Uh, I forgot what the other one. I think it's just spare tire. Yeah, I think it's just a spare tire. Here you have the MBX. No, it's not the MBX service. It's under your thumb, knucklehead. Here you have the H2O glider. Once again, that has a spinning turret right there. Water cannon for putting out fires. Here you have the 33 Plymouth PC sedan. I made this uh, quite a bit of focus of the bonus content last case in the C case so I'm glad to see it carries over I mistakenly called this car right here Talbot Lago so I made a follow-up video you could click on that link or uh, check the description or I'll put it at the end Jeep Wagoneer a lot of people like seeing this mix uh, seeing this car truck I see a lot of off-road kind of stuff it's not even a truck but anyways Jeep Wagoneer uh, and actually has uh, been on TV within the last 10 years. Yeah, it was a, it was a, a ma played a major role in a TV program. 
Uh, I'll show that in the bonus content as well. Pretty cool seeing the wood grain features. You know, it has this line right here. Um, makes it seem like it has an opening feature, but it's just a line. There, there, there's no molding parts on this. Matchbox hasn't had opening doors on any models in uh, a, a whole long time. Yeah, Volkswagen Type 34 Carmen Ghia. I like this car. They have two Carmen Ghia models. There you go. Uh, I th thankfully, I found this on the pegs. So I already have a, an extra. I took a closer look at this 17 Honda Civic hatchback in the bonus content of the last video. There's another one. Just to double check, same wheels. Looks the same. Headlight features, tail light features. Motorcycle, it's kind of neat to get at least, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not a big motorcycle fan. It's, it's okay to get one of each type casting, and people are liking this, but it's just like one big blob of metal, which people are glad probably it's metal, but for me, it's like, eh, you know. Keep it in the package. I don't think it, it's got skinny tires, so I don't think it, you can't get it to stand up on its own. No kickstand, I don't see. So I don't expect people to open it up for display. I don't know, you have to lean it on something or make a uh, some type of kickstand. And this is definitely the hardest one to find out of this mix. The 62 Volkswagen Beetle comes back, thank you very much. Uh, I think I only found one on the pegs. I could even be mistaken. And now that I have one in the case, now I can ask Amanda if she, uh, she's gonna want one. I don't even have to ask her. I'll, I'll leave it on the desk and uh, in the morning it'll be gone. So I'm glad to see the beetle in the mix. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back with some bonus content. The 62 Volkswagen Beetle Matchbox used to use this casting a lot, a lot. Here is a SpongeBob SquarePants sample. It doesn't look like they've changed anything from the previous release. As you can see this one here, it has a uh, tail uh, hitch, so you can uh, tow. Not that you see very many uh, Volkswagens, slug bugs towing things, but they did keep the, the, the tail hitch. Mm, pretty much looks the same. Very, very slight changing in the tooling, but uh, otherwise it, it looks the same as the previous release. Glad to see that there were no casting changes to degrade the, the model. I know that Matchbox has to keep things under the $1 price point, and they're uh, doing a pretty good job, I guess. I'll talk about that more in, uh, in a little bit. Here you have the, the Beetle, right? Well, they also came out with the, the VW Concept. This was the Volkswagen Concept 1. I have a, a Fruit Loop sample. Now the, uh, the concept version, the concept Beetle, they also came out with a, uh, a Cabriolet version. I like to use the, uh, I have quite a few, when they did the entertainment uh, models, I have quite a few of the entertainment models. Just they're, uh, they're a little bit funner to collect. As you can tell, it's not exactly the same casting. It's a, it's a, uh, new, a new design. It's new tooling, and here we have a uh, police version of the concept. You see how it has the uh, light bar? It's a separate piece. See those, see those two circles? That's because that's where it's inserted into the roof. Here is a, a dare sample. They have the light bar uh, in, in the roof. It's a separate piece. You know it's a separate piece because it's blue, but the windows here are clear or smoked, actually and that police light bar. Well, the uh, Ford panel van, here you have the police light bar. But they, uh, I spent all day yesterday looking for my sample, looking for a sample of the Ford panel van. The old version, it, it had an insert like this for the light bar. Well, this one, it's the, the same, it's the same piece of plastic right here. And they just have a pop up through the roof. And so this way they give it like a, an emergency vehicle or, uh, you know, a light bar on top. This one, though, 
It says Speedy Express insured global tracking. Uh, it's, it's not a police vehicle, but it has a light bar. It's nice to have it back. Mm, insert, well, if, if it costs them more time and money to do the insert, then I can understand them uh, cutting back on that. What they also cut back on is it looks like it probably doesn't have an interior. This one came from a five pack. You can see uh, it's blue here, blue windows, same piece. Uh, probably does not have an interior. So that's how they cut back. Another way they've been cutting back, uh, check out this uh, Hot Wheels bottle right here. Here you have the ice cream truck. Well, the most recent uh, version of, uh, well, the last couple versions of the Hot Wheels ice cream trucks. This one here, they called it Quick Bite. It's the, uh, as you can see, it's the, uh, it's the same model. But take a look at the sides. See how the white metal goes all the way to the bottom? What they did is they made the plastic, see the red plastic interior? Look how it comes up on the side of the model. So they took away some of the metal. That's one way that they're cutting costs with this. Keeping it under a uh, $1 US price point. And well, thankfully, thankfully the metal goes all the way down to the bottom. Now, as far as this uh, new light bar like this, um, the Ford panel van, they, they've had different accessories. Here's a ladder on the top. And they've also had a panel van without nothing at all. There's one sample. This is the Easter version, of course. Here's another sample. Scooby-Doo. Uh, you know what? This might not have had an interior back then either. I'm not sure. But check this out. Uh, these aren't even the same. Look, the orange one has side view mirrors. The green one does not, and that's just that's just the way things go. You know, they uh, change castings, cut costs, or maybe sometimes it's a little hard for them to put together at the factory. So they turn around and they make changes at the factory. Now we started off with the uh, VW. Let's go ahead and open up the, uh, the Volkswagen Type 34 Carmen Ghia. This one in silver. Maybe you got this one last year. I think it was last year. As a matter of fact, I think that I think that was the one that was in the uh, that ABC learning something or other. So here's the one that's in the case this month or this series, I should say. There's a look at the interior. Now, like I said, Mattel has another uh, Carmen Ghia in the lineup. They have a Type 14 Carmen Ghia convertible, 1969. Here's that, that version right there. Uh, for me, the easiest way to notice is the boot right here, the uh, retractable roof. For me, that's the easiest way to notice the differences between the two. Take a look at the interiors. Both left-hand drive. There's a look at those. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the uh, I'll try to see if I had one of these open. You know what? Uh, let's just go ahead and open this now. Here is your MB excavator. And here's the moving part. The only thing, it's an extra excavator, but uh, it doesn't reach the ground. It, it stops right there. Let's turn it down. Uh, it, it, can't reach, it can't reach the ground. Uh, well, what if we turn it, uh, what if we turn it around the other way? Uh, nope, can't reach the ground. So, well, it's something fun to drive around. That's okay. The hail cat. I have opened up a sample before, so I'll just pick this one right here. By the way, I'm going to show you this one. Don't worry, it's coming. Here is the hail cat. No moving parts. Has little tiny wheels on the bottom. The case. This had, uh, you know, some play value as well. Attack track has a missile on the roof. So I got one of the uh, my older samples as I'm stalling to try to get the missile in place. There is your missile. I don't know if this list lets, oh yeah, it sure does. So you can pretend, there's no launching mechanism. So you can pretend you're defending your country. Has little tiny wheels on bottom as well. It's not the only matchbox uh, 
mm, missile type. There's 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 more, but I pulled out this uh, missile transporter. Mm, I'm guessing this one's around the year 2000, mm, maybe earlier. I'm not sure. I had a couple of missiles on the top. Let's see what else did I want to show you before we get to that uh, Jeep. We have the uh, 95 custom Chevy van. I have found this one on the pigs. I talked about there being a difference. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. Where did it go? We're going to keep moving. I put away the wrong one. Uh, I, I found one. Oh, no, it is there. It looked the same. Anyways, on the left, you can see it has a motorcycle. On the right, it has the spare tire and other gear. You see they're black. The base is black. Part of the same piece, and that's why it's like that. The first release was red with chrome bike or chrome spare tire on the back. And chrome base, of course, with a custom Chevy van. And last but not least, where'd you go? Jeep! Here you have that uh, Jeep Wagoneer. Very cool. And I'm a big fan of the uh, Breaking Bad TV show. And when I seen that, it's like, uh, hey, I've seen that vehicle before. And sure enough, uh, the White family, they had that vehicle. So it's pretty cool to get it in a piece of die cast, 164 scale for a dollar. Greenlight might have released one. I'm not sure. It might be larger scale. I forget. But I love Breaking Bad. I have uh, I have a lot of Greenlight stuff. I even have Better Call Saul. Uh, with the, I even have the uh, Chicken Place. They released like a uh, delivery van, box truck with the... Uh, chicken company and all of a sudden I'm drawing a blank as to the name of that chicken company. Well since I brought up the subject might as well bring out the truck 2013 International Durastar from Greenlight. There's the Los Pollos Hermanos logo. Pretty cool. I like this kind of stuff. Logos on the back of the truck as well. I like to where it's a memento from the show right and it doesn't necessarily reflect what's uh, or, or glorify what's in the show, right? We're just fans of the show, and it's a collectible from the show. So uh, very, very happy to have that, and happy to have this as well. Remember what I say, buy what you like, buy what you can afford, and enjoy the hobby. I definitely love these two pieces. Thank you for watching, and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.